thank you for calling me for being here this afternoon. Sorry we held you in the uh, hot weather for a little while, but we're collecting and getting evidence together, uh, information for you. But uh, in general, what we had this afternoon at approximately 1.34 p.m. was a call to uh, the 911 center in Bedford uh, from an individual who indicated he had been shot. Scene, found the individual uh, in his driveway, uh, laid fairly close to his home, back to his home. Uh, obviously, had been shot uh, in the vicinity of his chest. It appeared to be a small caliber uh, handgun or a small caliber wound. Uh, at that time, uh, we, because of the close proximity to the schools in Forest. Uh, we put the schools on lockdown, uh, the elementary, the high, and the middle school were put on lockdown uh, at approximately 2 p.m. Uh, investigation continued. We had the assistance uh, almost immediately of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Farms sending agents to the forest area, the Virginia State Police uh, sending uh, a, uh, troopers to the area of the Bedford County Sheriff's Department. Um, if anybody wants to know why we have school resource officers, it's because of the way this went today. It was a textbook type operation. Uh, the school, the SROs got in touch with the principals. The principals put the schools on lockdown, and the SROs, uh, Bedford County Deputy Sheriffs, troopers, and ATF agents uh, were at the schools providing security for the school and for the students. Uh, the, and I will give you the information on the lockdown and, and, and leaving it from the lockdown, then I'll talk about the individual that was shot. But at approximately 3.38, the uh, schools were taken off of lockdown, and the Virginia State Police, the County Sheriff's Office, and Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Farms agents uh, assisted in getting the school buses out, the students on the buses. They provided uh, security uh, for the, uh, the students at, at all three of these locations. Now, the individual that was shot was a Marshall Patterson. Marshall Patterson, white male. Uh, he lived at 1591 Bays Mill Road, which was in the vicinity of the, the high school at Bar Lab. And I will add that Bar Lab was also I don't think it's called Bar Lab today, but Bar Lab was also put on lockdown uh, for, uh, during this during this time uh, time period. Marshall Patterson was transported to uh, Lynchburg General. Uh, he is there now. He is not in surgery. He is being cooperative with our investigators. Uh, with that information, I am assuming, and I hate to do this, but I'm assuming that probably the wound is not life-threatening, but at this point, we do not know. He describes the subject as a light-skinned black male, muscular build, with a black shirt, don't know if it's a t-shirt, button-up shirt, polo shirt, or whatever, but a black shirt, a black stocking cap, and blue jean shorts below the knees. He also describes the, the weapon as a semi automatic handgun. Uh, that is the, again, the only information we have now. Uh, our agents, agents from the ATF, uh, Virginia State Police are in the area. We are providing, again, security. There's some uh, activity, school activity is still going on, but we're providing security there. Our agents, and we will increase a patrol in this area this afternoon, this evening. Uh, we have a bomb sniffing dog on, on scene, just specifically for trying to locate a weapon. In fact, the uh, suspect uh, dropped the weapon. Uh, we also have a tracking dog uh, on scene. The tracking dog was unable to provide any type of track for this for the alleged perpetrator. Uh, that right now is, is all we have. That's all the only thing I can give you because that's all I have right now.
I will answer questions as best I can. Is the individual giving any idea as far as a narrative as to why the shooting occurred? Not at this point. We do not. And we have two investigators there with him at the hospital now. We are questioning him. Hopefully we'll have additional information in reference to a motive. But right now we don't have a motive. And you don't know what their relationship was? None at all. What's the spelling of the street of the victim? It is Mays, M-A-Y-S, Mays Mill, M-I-L-L Road. Any previous contact with this individual on Mays Mill Road before? Not to my knowledge. What was the victim like when you found him in his driveway? The deputy, first deputy on the scene indicated he was laying, he was in a prone position. He was having a hard time breathing. And there was a considerable amount of blood in the vicinity of the individual. How many times have any of these schools been on lockdown before? Or was this the first time? Yes, we've had them on lockdown before. I can't give you the exact number. Has anybody locked down before? They have been on lockdown. We have locked them down before. But I can't give you the exact number of the last time. Do we have any idea approximately how many students were impacted from all four schools? Well, at least 1,000 students. Do we think the suspect's on foot in a car? The information that the victim gave was that he was on foot. That he walked out of the woods and that he was on foot. And fired a shot, turned around, and ran back down into the woods. So he was in the woods, came out, fired a shot at this individual, and then went back into the woods? That's the story that we're getting right now from the suspect, from the victim. Did the shooter say anything? Not to my knowledge, ma'am. Did it appear to be random to the victim? You say that's the story we're getting now. Should we draw any correlation to that phrasing? Well, as you know, incidents like this, they change. So that's the information that we have right now. Will that change? That's possible. The only thing I can say is possible that that story will change. But right now, that's the only thing we have from the victim. Is this a victim you've known from incidents in the past, or is this a new person? Again, not to my knowledge, no. Any indication from looking at the home that it might have been a B&E type case or any type of incident? No, none whatsoever. Do you know any direction of travel on the suspect? I'm sorry, yes. Do you know what direction the suspect went in? I've been to the house. I'm going to say in an easterly direction from the house. Did the victim have any family home at the time, anyone else in the house? I do not know that. So he just shot him and left? Yes. Did he exhibit signs of intoxication or being stoned or anything? I mean, just bam and gone? Again, the information I have right now doesn't indicate any of that. No, well, it doesn't indicate any type of mental, physical condition of the shooter. And I'm assuming that's what you're asking, of the shooter. Yes, sir. Nothing whatsoever. Was a state police helicopter used to help search? No, state police volunteered, but we did not ask them to lift off. Do you have any idea or any belief as to where this person may be then? Are they going to be in the woods somewhere out there, or do you believe they have any idea of where they could be? We don't know. We absolutely don't know. We are still searching. We have units in the area. Several scenarios have been suggested. One that he could possibly have had a car and certainly made it back to the car and gotten out of the area. So what should people do? This is a fairly residential area. Should they stay in their homes? Should they proceed as normal? Just take precautions. I mean, if they see someone, and we've had this before, they need to take precautions. If they see somebody suspicious, they need to call the sheriff's office right away. Call 911 right away and give them whatever information they have. Lock their cars at night, which we've put out messages over here several times for that because of several incidents we've had cars being not necessarily broken into, but cars gone into at night where people leave the cars open and someone will go in and steal stuff. So keep the cars locked. Keep the doors locked. Just be on alert for anything that's suspicious and call 911. 
Can I mean, parents still be comfortable going to school events, going to games around yeah, this area? Yeah, we, we're going to have security there. There'll be, uh, yeah, no, 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 no problems. I would not have concerns myself if I had a child going to anyone in the school. How many people do you have out actively serving right now? Uh, with AT, we probably several dozen. Did you use the reverse 911 to notify residents in the area? No. We, we just didn't have enough time this this time to use that. What was the rat the reasoning for if the state police volunteered a helicopter the decision not to? <laughs> well, we, didn't, we, we had no track. We couldn't uh, we couldn't determine which which way, what direction. If if in fact there was a uh, shooter. That's an interesting comment. Yeah, well, I won't go any further than that. Any other questions on that? Who do we, contact? we don't know. We don't. Uh, we don't know. But we, we just didn't see any need to get them up at that time. Who should we be contacting later on tonight for more information? Uh, who do we want to contact? Okay. Email. You yeah. Just email me. I'm going to put something out later when I get back to the office. Keep, try to keep everybody abreast. Any other departments, Lynchburg, anything like that? Say again. Are you working with Lynchburg or anything? Oh like yeah, that? yeah. They uh, all of the departments, Campbell County, Lynchburg. Uh, everybody is aware of the uh, of the incident. Everybody is aware of the uh, alleged uh, suspect. Uh, what uh, what description we have? And uh, yeah, we, we're working with. Could you give us how old the? Uh, Victim was in this. I, I do not know. Anybody know? You know how? Uh, again, I, we think it is twenty. It is twenty. We don't know. Thank you. Can you spell his name for us just to make sure that we don't like? Uh, it, I have it as P A T T. I'm assuming P A T T E L. Two L's for Marshall. M A R. -S -S I've got two T's now. I, you know, for first name, Marshall. Oh, uh, Marshall. M A R S H A L L. Two L's. Okay. Okay. You don't want that one. I know. You've risen. You've risen to the top of the list. You're. Don't worry. I'll you think? Um, get knocked out. Uh, do you seem suspicious of this guy, the victim, uh, of anything he's saying? No, you, no, you're, no, no, you, no, you seem to kind of, no, if no, there's no, a, you know, if there's a, well, a any, perpetrator. Well, any time we have, you know, a, uh, a situation like this. I mean, there, there, there are several scenarios that could happen. I mean, uh, but no, at, at this point, we don't, uh, he seems to be cooperating, and we don't, uh, we don't have any reason to question What happened? Right. You know, and that probably would uh, probably probably comment on that one. It's just something that's like that. Just leaving all the options. Yeah, open. we're leaving all the options. I mean, I, absolutely. I mean, that 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 that's absolutely it. You know, but no, he uh, right now he's they say investigate his own scene. Say that he is cooperative. He's being very cooperative. It seems odd the the, the notion. Come on, Mark. It seems odd the notion that someone would come out of the woods. The, someone you don't know would come out of the woods, shoot you, and then run back in the woods. Yeah, yeah. That seems. I guess it could happen. Yeah. You know, Does it could. strike you as odd? I've, I've seen stranger things. Okay. I think Mark is stealing your gun. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs>